Smoking the barbecue, guys, you get free tastes when you come in this area. Oh, how many years in the stay in the Philippines, sir? Uh, two days. Ah, uh, two days? Yeah. My friends and welcome back to another video here in the beautiful country of Manila and in tonight's video guys We're gonna be taking you with on a very special adventure. I'm with the King Walid. Assalamu alaikum. How you doing uh, brother? Never been better brother And Let's so go. we've got our good man who's gonna be taking us 100 pesos. So you got a special deal just for us brother go. Anong Pengalang Mo? Pele? Anong Pengalang Mo? A Pangalan pa Anong Pangalang Mo? I'm Rick. Rick the Rick. King. The king of the Philippines, Rick, the man, the myth, the legend. Okay. Well, that's great, Rick. We're going to be cruising over to a... Uh... Are you working at the refueling station? Uh, go to the nightclub? No, uh, no, no. Okay, yeah. You got a special plan for us? Where's the nightclub at that you're talking about? Uh... <laughs> Rick knows all the secrets of Philippines, huh? Filling station has good food. Filling station? Yeah, the restaurant. Burgos Makati? You see the... Yeah, Burgos Makati. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, Burgos Makati! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you've been yeah. there? We're gonna be heading over to a... <laughs> you blinded over there, bro? <laughs> blinded by the light? <laughs> Don't forget to look up there, bro. Oh, not, not at the light. That way, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wally well, can't see it because the light's so bright. Oh my god. You can't see it, brother? Oh, I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Yeah, I'll, I'll point it towards me, bro, so you can see. I feel like we're both getting arrested or yeah, prosecuted. Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. It feels like the cops here, but trust me, it is crystal clear on the camera. <laughs> Anyways, guys, yeah, we're cruising over to, uh, what's the name of this place? Uh, Filling Station. Filling Station. Filling Station is a uh, district in the Manila, Philippines area, which you can actually watch. Well, the Filling skin. Station is actually where the restaurant is at. That's what it's called. Oh, okay. And it's the most uh, famous, like, uh, they say that it's like one of the special old, uh, like, do you remember a Denny's? But yeah, a high-end Denny's high -end over Denny's, here, okay. so it gets really busy at night, and it's cool because the way they they made it, the way they made it, yeah, is yeah. the concept is insane. It's yeah, really yeah. nice. Okay, so yeah, guys, we're in for a treat tonight. It's gonna be an interesting adventure and a place we have not yet explored in Manila, Philippines. So let's head on over. How much time, uh, Kuya? Wait, I'm searching the Google. Okay, you don't know where it is. That's the, not a good sign. Feeling station. Filling station. I Wrong, uh, okay. Salamat, Kuya. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, I'm going to hop out right here. We have arrived to McCarty Avenue. Or okay. Where the heck are we? So, uh, I got a little bit lost one night, and I ended up eating here, and it's open 24-7. Okay. One of the coolest Filling restaurants station right there, yeah? Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, and this one, I mean, what are we looking at? One, two, three, four floors up? Probably, yeah. It's going to okay. be interesting. You want to check out inside and see what you're getting yourself into? Yeah, I mean, you ready to go straight in yet, or do you want to explore this place a bit? Let's explore. Let's all right, all right. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll check it. this place out, and then we're going to go in there in just a little bit. But, uh, Hello, brother. We're coming to the filling station in 10 minutes. Yeah, I'll wait for you, boss. All right. Thank you. Salamat kuya. Yeah, have a good day. Thank you. All right. So, guys, we are getting a taste of what this area is like. We are here on a Saturday night. So, as you can tell, I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on, and it's still early. We're looking at what? 9 p.m. 9 p.m. and 9 p.m. And there's there's a lot of stuff going on in this area. We've got street food carts. We've got places lit up here. We've got the game on there, and uh, let's put it this way. It's gonna be an interesting night in this area. And look at this, guys. That is modern, modern Manila right there. We have basically like rope lights that are taking the skeleton of the building and illuminating them at night. Absolutely stunning. And what do we got going on across the street there? Salamat, salamat, we're crossing, my friend. Okay, thank you. Hello, hello, kumosta ka? Oh, what do we have going on there, brother? A little omelet, egg roll? What's inside though? Oh, it's got Anong Pengalang Mokuya. Anong Pengalang. What's Pengalang? Your name? Name? Shang. Pangalang. Shane. Shang. Shane. Shang. Shang. Shang, the man. So you make the best omelets in town? Yes. Okay, okay. Well, that sounds perfect. Ayos? Ayos. Mazarap? Yeah, Perfect. What do you think, bro? You hungry? You might as well. Let's, right, let's double down on two, please. Two. Yes, please. Two omelets. So what is going on in there? We're frying them up. What is the... Uh, what is this? Uh, 
Oh, you might actually want to do one because they. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, actually we'll, do one. we'll do one. 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 Yeah. Yeah. You're putting pork in the oil. There we go. Cheese yeah. Yeah. Dog. It's in the oil. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? Pork. Okay. Okay, so we're making a uh, fresh omelet here with some eggs. Oh, what is, what is going on? Is that an egg omelet? So I think that's the pork that they put with the egg on top. Yeah, looks like they're uh, mixing them up together. So we got a checker silog, a bang silog, a hot silog, and a corn silog. And then right over here we've got the egg silog about to be made. And he's squirming up the egg right now. So, Shang, how many years have you worked here? Uh, three years? No. Uh, three months. Three months? Yeah. Okay, welcome. Welcome to the area. It's great to have you here for delicious food on this street. And what, what I'm thinking we're going to do for you is grab this. Ooh. Ooh. And then we should definitely get a uh, 99 case of normal for you too. Uh, you already know, bro. You got to double or triple down on the good food. I got you, bro. Oh, look at that. That is just a slab of meat popping right out. And that omelet's literally cooking like there's no tomorrow. Oh. Is this rice in here? Oh, I think that thing's about to blow, bro. Look at the rice in here. You can see it. I'm going to step away from this rice. Yeah, yeah, that thing's about to shoot off the top. Okay, oh. it's looking pretty Mazarab. Mazarab. Oh. Yep, Ayos. Ayos food here. Shang's Shang, you know. Shang's got the best in town. Oh. Fresh rice. Uh -huh. Tisilo. Yeah, Tisilo, exactly. Yeah. Uh, that omelet's pretty much done there. You see that thing cooking up? Oh, hello, hello, beautiful. <laughs> that is fantastic. Well, looks like we got the first entree done. That's interesting. So they give you an egg and they give you rice. Oh, whoa, it just got sprayed by oil. <laughs> Sean, that oil's, that oil's attacking me. <laughs> Woo. Actually, yeah, that was really, I got to hit there, 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 and there. So that means you got to step back. When Sean's in the kitchen, things are about to explode. We lost our friend over there. See you later, brother. Yeah, I'm looking for something uh, not with the rice. Just keep it simple or light. You gotta save room for the rest. Oh yeah. All right, so we got this for about 80, which is about one dollar and forty cents, I would say. And we're gonna try this thing out. We let it cool down for a minute, and we have uh, an egg. I mean, am I eating this with just my hands? I think we'll try out the egg like this. Mm. Woo! Burn the hell out of myself. Let me tell you this. Wait for it to cool down. That's my number one piece of advice. Sean, you know how to make a delish mazarab ayos omelet. Thank you. Thank you. And we've got this, oh, that's hot. So we've got the pork right here. We're gonna try this. Oh, hook up. Shang hooks himself with a glove here. So we can try out the omelet first. That is freaking delicious. Basically the omelet, it's like, it's being cooked in oil right here, so it's just got an extra like greasy taste to it. You know, the more greasy it is, a lot of times the better it tastes. And then next to it, we have just a slab of pork right here, guys. That thing is fresh off the oven. Even with gloves on, I can barely hold it. But let's give it a bite. Wow. Ho oh, oh. ho. Now that is tasty, my friends. Literally, you got this big slab of fat on the side of it, but then when you go on the inside, that's where you get the juicy meat. It's basically got like this uh, fried texture, but it's fried enough where it, it almost feels like it was on the grill for a bit and then fried. But I will tell you, it tastes great. Let me, let me do the uh, most important part. Take a bite of this. And then the omelet. That, that is it, my friends. Oh, oh, the combination with the omelet and the pork, that is fantastic. For a $1.25 double full meal, that's how we do it. Salamat Shang. Very delicious. Salamat Kuya. Thank you. See you next time, Shang. So Shang has hooked us up with a delicious start to the night. Let me just tell you this. You know it's good food when you can still feel the uh, pork stuck in your teeth. Oh, 
I can feel that a lot. So now we're gonna cruise down this way and see what we get into for the night. So we're walking down this way. Kamusta kakuya. Okay, long. That sounds great. You you hungry, bro? Bro, you know I'm gonna hit one of these up. Uh huh. I'm gonna do. Uh, let's see. Perfect. Never been better. Your English is good. Wow. You're from Manila? Yes. Okay, okay. That's fantastic. Great city. So I'm guessing this is chicken livers. All right. Let's see chicken what we got going on over here. Chicken intestine. Wow. Now that is that is something else right there. Chicken intestine custom made here in the Philippines. And what about this one? Uh, chicken gizzard. Gizzard. So was that is that the tongue? Mm -hmm. well, I you, think I, I'm not sure. I've never I can't remember gizzard. what gizzard is. I, I forgot think, what gizzard I feel like was. that's the tongue. That must be a chicken. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go with the uh, intestines. Yeah. Is this a good one? Does it taste good? Yeah, good. Yeah. Should I toss it on? Uh, Okay, there, there we go. So that thing's gonna fry up. How long does that take to cook there, brother? Anong pangalang mo? Michael. Michael? Oh, yeah. Michael, it's great to meet you, brother. Yeah. So, Michael, how long uh, does that take to cook? Time? Two minutes? Three. Three minutes. Okay, so freshly cooked. Oh, wow. Oh, so you're having a full full meal today then? Yo. Uh, enjoy, enjoy. What's, what's the sauce? Sweet. Sweet and sour sauce? Oh, oh wow. Oh, okay. okay. Well, this looks fantastic. And which one's your favorite? All. Oh, wow. All right, that's a great answer. That's how you know it's going to taste delicious. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so we've got this thing cooking up. That's a Maserat piece right there, yeah? Ayos? Ayos. Ayos, that's, that's the good stuff. How's the Tagalog? Pretty good? Yes. Can I try painting one on there too? Can I try it out? Uh, there we go. We'll do a little a little painting on that one. Oh, there we go. On the gizzard. Oh, it's going to be extra delicious now, yeah? Salamat. Oh, yeah. You ever had one of those, bro? You're, you're, oh, yeah. you're you not want ready. one? No, no, I'm good. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you don't want, you don't want to eat the uh, intestines? Not on, brother. Not on. I can't have intestines. Oh, oh, okay. I didn't realize that. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, won't be eating that. <laughs> But I bet you when you brushed it, it turned on hot on, so now it's good for me. Yeah, let's hope so. Yeah. <laughs> the best thing about this is when you're when you're hungry, I would always grab um, I would always grab that uh, chicken, and they put the sweet and sour sauce and put it on here with white rice, and you're in heaven because that sweet and sour sauce makes everything good. Bro. Yeah, you already Seriously. know, brother. Yeah. You already know. Yeah. You know you can't go wrong with a, a nice little Filipino barbecue right here near. The streets of McCarty. The streets of uh, McCarty. Okay, that's the name of this place. Yeah, streets of McCarty. So you're bringing this home to your friends and family? Okay, enjoy the meal tonight. Saturday barbecue is the best. Do you cut the meat yourself? You cut everything? Okay, it's all, it's already packaged. Okay. Mm. Oh, good. Guys, look at this. We're, we're smoking that. Oh. Oh. Mmm, now that's that's what I'm telling you guys is the best. Smoking the barbecue, guys, you get free tastes when you come in this area. You ever smoke the barbecue, bro? I just seen the very first person ever smoke a barbecue in uh, my life. You know, that's how yeah. you know it's good stuff. Yeah. I can't recommend it's not good for the lungs, but it's definitely good for the uh, soul. Just kidding. Oh, that yeah, actually is. looks ready too. That's oh, yeah, that's coming along nicely. Oh, yeah, oh. the barbecue has been finalized. Guys, you know, this is my first time ever in my life eating chicken intestines. Oh, that thing is ready, yeah? Okay, okay, can you mind that, brother? Go ahead. Well, let's put it this way. Only in the Philippines will I eat an intestine. I actually have not a single idea of what this is gonna taste like. I can tell you right now, it's probably so hot I would burn. Oh, yeah, that's fresh off the press. Well, let's give it a proper try, you know? You only learn if you like something or don't like something by simply tasting it, right? So. What does it taste like? That is fantastic. Really? Wow. It's like a slightly chewier type of like chicken, but it kind of breaks apart in your mouth in a... Oh. 
Like it's chewy, but it also breaks apart. It's got a similar taste to like, you know, like a normal chicken leg, as you would imagine. But I will say that like the barbecue sauce and everything on there is a really strong taste. So it is pretty overpowering compared to if I just had this without the sauce. I don't know what I would feel like if I had this without the sauce, but with the sauce, I mean, I mean, we're gonna finish this thing off right now. Oh yeah. Delish, my friend. Actually, it's good. If you guys are wondering if I'm just saying that for the camera, I'm really not. Like, I genuinely enjoyed that. If I wouldn't, I would have just taken a bite and dropped it. Makano? Five? Five pesos? Five pesos. Okay. Wow. You can have a feast? Yeah, that's, that's a really good price from our good man, Michael. Okay. Well, how about if I give you uh, 200? Is that a better deal for you? Okay. Salamat kuya. Thank you. Do you have a garbage for me? Thank you very much. Salamat kuya. See you next time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Alright guys, that was my first intestine. And for literally 5 pesos guys, that would have been 10 cents to have a nice little snack. You could probably eat 4 or 5 of those and that's a proper meal right there. And so, hello! Como esta cuyo? Hello yo! Hello brother! Good stuff over there? Alright, alright. So yeah guys, I will tell you. That was much better than I expected. I was honestly, uh, I probably didn't show it on camera, but a little nervous to taste that, but I actually enjoyed it. So on to the next place. So guys, we are in this area now and we're like back on the main street. So we're off on that side street to get the uh, chicken intestine over there. But now, now we've got our buddy at Mason right there. What is this right there? So you might want to try that. I think that's the egg. Uh, no, I, gotta, I gotta save that during the daytime. Okay. That's a quail egg and then an egg embryo. Oh. Yeah. Do We're gonna be doing oh, that we'll be soon. We'll We're back. gonna be doing that soon, guys. In an upcoming video, I wanna try that. But right now, I'm not ready for it. I need another day or two of adapting myself to the foods before I really try and like test out these taste buds. Hello, brother. Salamat kuya. We're over at Bourbon, New Orleans. And uh, right, let's hit up one of the best shawarma spots. Oh, on. we got shawarmas in the Philippines. And it's really good over here. Okay, okay. Well, hello, hello. Magandang Gabi. Magandang Gabi, Guya. We've got the best uh, shawarmas in town. Yes. Best in the world. Yes? yes sir. All right. Well, let's try out your best ones on the menu. Anong Pengalang Mo? Mark. 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 That's great. Mac Mark. Ah, nice to meet you, brother. Well, we're looking for shawarmas. You hungry for a shawarma, bro? Yeah, I got this. All right, one. we're looking for two shawarmas, Kuya. Uh, I think we'll eat them here. We'll eat them here. Oh, yeah. Fresh, yeah. you know, we're going to eat them as quickly as you make them, if not faster. Can I come here? Yes, sir. Okay, so we're going to get a little close up. Anong Pengalang Mo, Kuya. Kurt. Kurt, we got Kurt cutting the uh, fresh shawarma. You can see the chicken sliding right off there. That looks absolutely fantastic. And wow, how many hours does it take to cook? Uh, one hour, sir. One hour to cook the whole thing. Yes. And then you got these fresh slices right there, ready to be chowed on. And okay, so basically you spin it around, guys. There's the heat on this side, and so as you slowly spin it around, then it'll cook one side, and then on the other side, yes. it is fresh meat. And we got an orange peel on top to kind of give it a uh, special citrusy taste. And then we've got the uh, next step, which will be the shawarma, the shawarmas. And we've got all the coals there too, yeah? I'm good, thank you. We got, we got shoe right. salesman. Hello, brother. Salamat kuya. Yes, please. You want Salamat kuya. Yeah, thank you. They're, they're great shoes, but not tonight. They look nice, but maybe later, brother. Okay, it looks like we, he's already got the thing rolled up. That was a quick one. Mac, what do you want to drink with your shawarma like that? Uh, what are you having? I do it at Coke Zero. All right, we'll take uh, um, water for me, please. Yep. Water, water, sir? Yeah. Uh, yes, please. And then I got this one for him. Thank you. Okay. Uh, are you a YouTuber? Uh, YouTuber, yes, sir. Name? Yeah, it is uh, World Nomad. Stick there, sir. Uh, right there, brother. World Nomad. World Nomad. Thank you. This is your... Yes, sir. Salamat kuya. You'll be on the channel. Yeah, it's, it's a pleasure to have uh, Mark and your name? Kurt. Kurt. Mark and Kurt? Milby. 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 Hilby or Milby? Milby. 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 
Melby, Mark, and Kurt right here. All right, it's nice to meet you guys. They make the best shawarmas right here downtown. And the name of this place is again, I keep forgetting. This the whole one area. is in McCarty area. McCarty area at El Tarbush. El Tarbush. I think that's in Arabic right there. I think it is. El Tarbush. I speak uh, shway shway Arabic, but I cannot read any, my friends. So The best part about this is the fries inside the shawarma. Yeah. If you don't have fries inside the shawarma, to me, it's not a shawarma to yeah, me. Exa right? Exactly. Yeah. That's a must. That is a must. Is there tum in there too? There's the garlic is, sauce. Is, oh, that's the garlic, garlic sauce? Yeah. Tum? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo, yeah. yeah you guys know how to make it the best possible way. That looks fantastic. We're getting them set up in those baskets too. Oh, fresh fries. Okay. Hey, Kurt's loading that thing up. Oh yeah, fresh chicken sliced right over there. And we're gonna be ready to enjoy the meal of the night. I will say guys, I'm always most excited for the shawarmas because, let's put it this way, I spend a lot of time in the Middle East these days. Hmm? Would you like to see? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it is tempting, it is tempting, yeah? We're moving inside? We're going inside. All right. So it's a combined restaurant. Yep. Hello, hello. Good evening, como esta cool? Okay. So this is where uh, we're gonna be chowing down. Looks delicious. Okay. Wow, fresh shawarmas. We're gonna be chowing on this right now. Oh, baby, baby. That is what we call shawarma time. Uh uh, good. <laughs> He's smiling over there. Oh, you know I'm already happy. Yeah, you already know it, brother. Yeah. So, which, you know what the sauces are? Like this white one this is like garlic? garlic. And now the next one is like a spicy sauce. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have some uh, very nice smelling breath after this. It's a good thing my fiance doesn't have to smell it tonight. This shawarma is meant to be loaded with some of the sauces they give you. So I'm being a bit of a hard critic, but I want to tell you, now that I dipped it much further in and really soaked it up, it fixed the dryness. Ooh. That's got a spicy kick right there, my friends. Mm. But we're going to load it up now with the garlic. Now let's try this one. What do you think, bro? I love the garlic sauce. Oh, the garlic is so good. The chicken, a little dry, but the fries good. Um, it needs the sauce, and it makes it a whole different, a whole different vibe. Wow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely, whole different vibe there. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Normally, my favorite sauce is garlic. But this garlic sauce is a bit thicker than like tomb that I've had in Lebanon, for example. So I kind of like this like thinner, um, more liquidy sauce. But that is good. What was the total on it, bro? Um, 200 for two shawarmas. And then two drinks. It was like less than, almost less than 300. Less than 300, which got us Coke Zero, water, and uh, two shawarma. So for two shawarmas for 200, that's 100 uh, Filipino pesos for one shawarma, which is just under two US dollars. So I will say, compared to some of the places I've been in the Middle East, these shawarmas are a bit more expensive, but very tasty, like a, a good snack. I could probably, if I had a full stomach and I didn't eat like five other things, I could maybe take down like three of them, literally. So I'm feeling good, bro. Oh, you already know he is. He's, he's pounding down that coke and calling it a night. I know how you do it. Okay, brother, you know, I think we're gonna stay a little longer than expected and try out one of these fresh shisha flavors. Yes, please, brother. Uh, I'll take the. Do you have lemon mix? Mix? Mix of mint and lemon? Okay, we call Hamud Nana. Yeah, perfect. That's uh, the Arabic way to say it Hamud Nana Shisha. Okay, mango, you know, mango. you did a uh, watermelon, you said? Watermelon, I would do uh, mango for sure. Okay, I'll do a mango, please, brother. Mango for you, please. Anong pangalang mo? Ahmad. Ahmad? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Ahmad. Uh, very good, very good. That's uh, that's all for now. Salamat kuya. Salamat kuya. Okay, this is the uh, mango juice. Oh, thank you, brother. So we've got, okay, we're gonna smoke this thing. 
Do not use your teeth when doing this. We got this thing, we're gonna try out the mango while he's getting us all set up for that shisha. And... Oh, that's oh, fantastic. Yeah. That is literally like... A frozen mango, probably, that was grinded up into a smoothie with a little juice. Salamat kuya! And right here we've got a shisha we're gonna be trying out. Here we go. Oh yeah! Are we back in Lebanon, baby? Let's go! Yalla! Oh yes! That, my friends, is how you finish a proper set of food touring street stands at the restaurant here. Guys, so a nice little shisha, a nice little uh, shawarma that uh, did us quite well. Guys, by the way, while he's making uh, travel videos all over the world, check out the uh, description below. You'll find a link to his channel. Thank you, brother. We'll see you later, brother. You. I'm heading out for Have the night. night man. Take care, brother. Bye, see you, brother. see you. Peace. See you, bro. All right, guys, now we are gonna find ourselves a ride back to uh, Binando. Let's see what happens at this hour. Who are we gonna find? Probably best case if we find a tuk-tuk. It's uh, 1.30 a.m., so. We shall see what we can find here. Okay. Most of these taxis are already taken. Nice and the car. Yeah. That's perfect. <laughs> all right, well, all these taxis seem to be full, so. I guess we're gonna find one pretty soon here, hopefully. Lots of traffic though, I mean literally it's faster to walk. Alright, we might have a couple taxis freshly fueled up here. That could be our guy. Hello brother. How, how much to Binando? Binando? Huh? Where in Binondo? Uh, the Ramada. Ramada? Is there, I have a pickup. You got a pickup? Yeah. No problem, brother. So you can't pick me up. No take? No take. All right, all right. Well, we'll check with your buddy over here then. Brother, how much you go to Ramada? Huh? Ramada, Binondo, Chinatown? I cannot go there. How much? I cannot go there. Why? Because I will be go. Ah, okay, all right. Nope. All right, we'll check with this guy here. Hello, brother. Benando? 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 I don't know. Chinatown? Chinatown? Ramada Hotel? Ramada Hotel? No? Wow, three for three. Not a single one. All right. This one's for hire. All right, we'll test this one out. Brother, hello. Benando? Benando? I have Grab. You have Grab? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. so no ride. All right. Guys, it's not possible to find a ride at this hour. I'm shocked. Four taxis, not a single one could take me. Mainly because they have Grabs. The guy over there in a rickshaw, we're gonna get him. I think we should be able to uh, get a ride with him. Hopefully the light doesn't turn uh, green. Hello, brother. Benando? Where are you going? Benando, Ramado Hotel. Yeah. Chinatown? Yeah. Chinatown? No. Ch Chinatown, Benando? Benando. Benando. Why you? Taxi. Taxi, not you? No, no bus. Oh, okay, that's a bummer. Okay. All right. Well, we'll check with him. Nope, that's already taken. Guys, this is the world's most complex ride home. Okay. Hello, brother. Benando? Uh, how much? Uh, how about a local's price? 400? 4 400 final. 400 final, brother. 400? All right. All right. Kamosta uh, ka, kuya? Uh, okay.
very long. You speak Tagalog? A little bit. Anong pangalang mo? Anong pangalang mo? Anong pangalang mo? Ah, name. Name. Uh, my name is Jesse. What's yours? Jay-Z, nice to meet you. My name's Mac. Mac. Do you speak English? It's okay. Uh, English, perfect, yeah. Oh, how many years in the stay in the Philippines, sir? Uh, two days. Ah, uh, two days? Yeah. Uh, yeah, just practice. Filipino. Salamat, Kuya. Salamat. You know Pogi? No, no Pogi. Pogi? What's Pogi? Guapo. Guapo? Guapo. Uh, like a... means uh, beauty lady woman. No? Uh, guapo means uh, beautiful, yeah? Uh, Maganda is beautiful. Maganda, yeah? Maganda is beautiful lady. Oh, okay. Guapo, this means, you know, uh, means cute. Oh. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. You know, in, in church? Yeah, the oh. church, right there. Oh, just give me 500, brother. 500 is fine. All right, salamat kuya. Until next time, brother. Drive safe tonight. The life you saved might be your own. A quote from my dad. All right, guys, we have made it back to the uh, Ramada, or as they call it, uh, Ramada, here in the uh, Philippines, guys. So thank you so much for watching. As always, hope you enjoyed the uh, nighttime tour, and we'll see you in the next one.